So in 2006, while Wayne Gretzky was coaching the great Arizona Coyotes, mm -hmm. his assistant coach Rick Tockett was accused and charged with running an illegal underground gambling Whoa. ring in New Jersey. What? He was facing up to 10 years in jail. Oh, shit. And also included some movie stars and hockey players named Jeremy Roenick. Oh, cuss. Of course. Of course. <laughs> Not surprised. Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, he looks like a sleazeball. <laughs> okay, this is where I should mention, this is only a theory. I just brought some facts mm -hmm. for us to talk about mm. and for people to listen to and make their own conclusions. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, it's just a theory. So anyways, Jeremy Roenick and his longtime buddy, Rick Tockett's buddy, Travis Green. Oh, wow. Wow, what a Canucks connection. Apparently, they're still close to this mm. day. It's not relevant, though. It's just kind of cool. Or is it? Exactly. So eventually, Rick Tockett pleaded guilty. When was this? 2006. Oh, shit. Okay. You might be wondering now, you know, how does this relate to Wayne Gretzky? Right. After all, Tockett was the assistant coach. Right. And Wayne was the head coach. Mm -hmm. It's like you got a coworker who just did some bad things, right? Right. You're not a part of it. Mm. Or? <laughs> <laughs> there was no evidence whatsoever that Wayne Gretzky was a part of the ring. He was not charged. Police didn't find any evidence that Wayne Gretzky had any affiliation with the gambling ring. But someone close to Wayne Gretzky was placing bets. Guess who that is? His wife? Yeah. And according to New Jersey police, Wayne knew about the gambling ring before Tockett was charged. Mm. So this story's weird because it kind of came into the public and then just disappeared. Right. Why wouldn't people talk about it more? It's like the league's at Maybe they should have covered it up. Mm. Maybe that's why Tockett pleaded guilty. In defense of? The great oh, one. Oh, shit. Holy fuck. So we're saying that Big Boss... I'm, I'm oh, not saying shit. anything. I'm just saying <laughs> something is fishy. Because yeah. you're telling me his wife had connection to Rick Tockett, his co-worker, finds out about an illegal gambling ring oh. and place bets? It's weird, isn't Doesn't it? That makes sense. Really, really weird. Mm. So people are saying or speculating maybe he placed bets under his wife's name. For sure. 100% he 100%? did. 100%? 100% There's no he evidence. Did. And this also occurred to me too because you know how there's conspiracy theories where people think like the original founder of Disney is Frozen? Right, right, right. So they think that they made the movie Frozen so that when you search on Google, it's just the movie Frozen, not the Disney go. owner Frozen, right? I always thought it was so weird that Wayne Gretzky, he's the great one. He's the best NHL player of all time, right? People don't know Crosby. People don't know McDavid. Mm -hmm. People know Wayne Gretzky, at least somewhat. Mm -hmm. And he's doing like gambling ads right now. Isn't that weird? Like he has, he was doing ads like for MGM, Bet365. He has, he's sponsoring like some gambling app. Mm. So I was thinking, what if he's just trying to cover up that scandal? Holy shit. Because when I searched up Wayne Gretzky gambling oh, to do chill. this research, I had to specify illegal gambling oh. ring in the Google search bar. Because otherwise, it would just direct you right to the ads. Exactly. That's fucking, I like that title Frozen. That's fucking nuts. But one thing is for certain, we will never know how much Wayne Gretzky was involved in that illegal gambling. I didn't bet. Um, didn't happen. It's not going to happen. Hasn't happened. It's not something that I've done. Are you pleading guilty freely and voluntarily? 